Number seven, what is the period of 60 hertz electrical power? Man, I love problems like this, right? Nice, short, and sweet. All right, so we, we have to know the hertz is a frequency, okay? That's the unit of frequency. And we have to know the simple relationship between period and frequency. Literally, all it is is just one is the reciprocal of the other. The frequency is going to be to equal to one over the period, okay? Another, um, so also consider that the frequency is always in units of hertz, right? But also, you should also know that hertz is another term for basically per second or second minus one. And the period is going to be in seconds, okay? So basically, uh, just manipulating that equation, we can see that then the period is just the reciprocal right of the uh, frequency. So the period here is going to be equal to one over that frequency of 60. And then this is going to be one sixtieth. And you can also plug that in to get a decimal value for you. So please, it's going to be equal to 0 0.0167 uh, seconds, okay? So that's basically the time it takes for one cycle. That's what period is, okay? This, this represents the number of cycles, right, in a second. That's what frequency is, right? That's why it's per second. Well, what per second? Basically, it means cycles, okay? Whatever that is. Cycles, waves, all right? Um, and then the period represents the time it takes for one cycle. So hopefully that makes sense, right? If there's 60 cycles in a second, that's what that's telling us. Then we know that each cycle should be a fraction of a second. That's all. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Please remember to help us out and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Take care.